Good afternoon, how is everybody doing? So tomorrow I'm gonna hike up White Mountain Peak here in California. It's a big one, a 14,000 footer, but not quite as high as Mount Whitney. The difference with this though is uh, with Whitney, you drive up to the campground and the trailhead is at 8,400 feet. And uh, with this, I'm gonna start at 5,400 feet. So a lot of climbing involved, uh, nearly like 10,000 feet. This thing is unreal. It just keeps going up and up. Uh, so it's gonna be a big day. I'm guessing like uh, 11 and a half hours on this. Um, and as far as I can see, uh, I don't see any reason to bring my snowshoes. Hopefully it's the right decision, so I'm going to leave them in the van once again. But I will pack in my crampons and mountaineering axe in case it's icy at the top. This is all thawed out. Throw it in the fridge now. And uh, tomorrow morning, be ready to do a slow cook. All right, so we're live and rolling. I'm awake, have to get an early start on this hike. Uh, so this is prepared now. I just have to sear the beef on the frying pan. Slow cook, low, eight hours. That colorful rock over there is where the Champion Spark Plug Mine is located. There's supposed to be some really good cabins open to the public, so we'll have to take a look another time. Yeah, they're digging fully assembled spark plugs right out of the ground. They only fit in a 1973 Ford Pinto though, so they went out of business. Actually, according to my map, they're digging up something called Silimanite. And there's a road that leads all the way to the top, White Mountain. It's open a couple months in the summer, and I believe it's the highest road you can drive in North America, even higher than those ones in Colorado. I'm sure it'll be a fun drive. There's lots of interesting stuff up there, like these ancient bristlecone trees that are 5,000 years old. Three hours, almost seven kilometers, and a 1,500 meter gain. Should be over halfway there now. So I've gained 2,000 meters and I still have to crane my neck to look up at this thing. The second half is going to go slower than the first half with the thinner air. And I'm also thinner on caffeine now. I tried to shortcut down there but no go. You have to stick to the top of the ridge line. Scramble across this stuff. It's finally starting to look smaller. One more push to the top. It's definitely living up to expectations. I need to schedule a Barkley Marathon here. Holy, go up and down this thing a couple times in a day. My heart keeps hitting red line. I gotta carefully pick my pace. So 
So that took almost eight hours to get up here. The slow cook is just finishing up, but not an easy route, not one to be taken lightly. A lot of sustained effort. I didn't need any uh, special gear, the snowshoes or anything. There's some scrambly bits in the middle, but nothing much. I'll try to get it on the GoPro on the way down. But yeah, let's try to get back to the van in one piece. It's uh, likely gonna be dark by the time I get there. celebrate with a beer later I'm feeling pretty destroyed as it is so that hike took a little over 12 hours uh, almost 3100 meter gain I think that translates to over 10,000 feet it was a big day it was uh, a mountain on top of a mountain on top of a mountain uh, you're looking up there you think you see the top but then you get to that point and you're just getting started so a few videos back, I talked about a rattle in the front end of my van. It just keeps getting louder and louder. I still haven't fixed it. A lot of people suggested that it's probably the brake pads, and I think that's correct. So tomorrow, I'm going to head into Bishop and see if I can find a place to take the wheels off and uh, somehow shim them so they don't rattle anymore. I would try to fix the rattle there, but the ground is all this really soft gravel and uh, my jack was sinking in. I did try, uh, so I gotta go find some pavement. All right, laundry first, get all cleaned up. I think there's a shower in this place. Uh, I hope there is. For the condition I'm in, it would be a dream come true. I'll try to seamlessly edit this together so it looks like the same day, but yeah, yesterday I came into town to do my laundry and uh, I just couldn't function. I was ruined. Uh, today I feel 70% recovered, uh, still not totally there, but yeah, it was a big mountain. I've never seen anything like that before and uh, it was also a lot higher elevation than what I normally do, but yeah, I thought this would be a good place to uh, work on the van in the back corner of the Kmart, but somebody just parked right beside me, so I'm going to keep looking see if I can find a better place. I looked all over town for a spot. I couldn't find anything, so I'm going to have to try it out here. Maybe there's something. That's obviously the problem. Might be able to just bend this clip to hold it down better, but after more back roads and more abuse, it could just uh, fall back into shape. So instead, I'm going to cut out some sheet metal that I have to wedge in there. These are aftermarket pads that I got at Lord Co. Maybe next time I'll try something different. Repeat the steps on the other side. We'll take it for a test spin. I 
All right, yeah, that did it. It's finally fixed. It sounds good going down the road again. The other thing that was bothering me was how the gas pump always clicks off, but I'll have to look at that one another time. But yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to come to California. I was ready to do another round in Utah. There's just a little bit of everything there, uh, but I was craving mountains, and this is where they are at. Uh, the only thing is that it doesn't get below freezing here, so I already miss being able to use the wood stove. But yeah, it's going to be a wrap on another video. So thanks for watching, and thank you to Patreon supporters, and I'll see you soon.